Hello, good sirs of the internet. Welcome to Random Ramblings, added in post. Number to be added later. Now, bit of an interesting topic, the topic of control. Why as humans... Well, uh, <laughs> been watching uh, Fast and Furious, the new one. And there's a quote saying from one of the uh, one of the characters, which is, "There's only two things you know in life for definite. That's what you're going to do, and the only thing you can pass on to another person is information." So I hope to pass on a bit of information to you. Weird one, I know. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. <sighs> anyway, control. That's why it feels better to skydive on your own merits where you're going to pull the chute. Rather than with an instructor tied to your back, I reckon. Or, I guess it's why we, as humans, don't like change. Even if it's for the better. Jesus fuck. Hold on, man. I'm getting a phone call. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know. I don't know, but what are you ringing me then? I don't know what you want. You rang me, it says I got two missed calls. I know, but, I know, but you didn't answer. I didn't hear them because I was on the bike. Well, well why are you on your bike, you silly sausage? Because I want to get to work, you couldn't. Are you, are you coming down? Are you setting up to work now? Yes. Oh, I'm going to say, do you want to come down my end before you set off to work? I don't know why you set off this, okay? Yeah, it takes me a good hour to cover the distance. Yeah, but that's going to get you to town for half nine, we don't start for half ten. Yeah, I was going to get something to eat on the way down. Alright, mate. Alright, no worries. I'll see you at town all yeah? See you in a bit, mate. See you in a bit. That's Tom for you. Miss calls you twice and then asks why you're ringing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might have taken a slightly wrong turn here. By slightly, I mean completely wrong turn. I went way too early. Let's get out of the mess of smashed up and Abandoned cars. Uh. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Yes, control. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's actually one of those things. It's... Um, the more you have the control, that is, the shit, the, sh the more shit up you're going to feel. The slightest thing. Like, imagine you're, imagine you're my passenger on the back, yeah. Now, obviously. Imagine my brakes don't work during this corner, I managed to hold it. I'm shitting it, but I've not said anything because I'm so concentrating. You might not think that there's anything wrong. Whereas me, because I've got full control, can tell it's only when shit really hits the fan that your passengers are going to notice. Same in a car, really. If you just want to slow down for this corner, but, oh shit, it's staying open. It's staying open. Oh shit, and I'm fucking losing my line if you don't 
if you don't give the information, to, same with the quote from Fast and Furious, if you don't give the information that something's wrong, no one's going to notice. And then it sort of goes into conscious versus unconscious, because, I mean, if, if someone's completely passed out in a car, the only time they're going to know that there's something wrong is when you've already flipped over five times. Boeing, Boeing. Well, that story's plain and simple. Boom! I suppose it sort of comes on to the reason why uh, debt feels so harsh. It's more to do with the reason of that lack of control. Like, if you're indebted for 15 grand or whatever, if you've not got 15 grand, you're going to feel shit. And I mean shit. It's the sort of thing that you're going to tear your hair out for. Money is imaginary, you think about it. Money is just a concept we've come up with as a society and gone, yep, that sounds fair to me. The only real thing we have in our life is time. And we give that time away for this fucking paper. Obviously, I am going to still give my time away for the paper because the paper is the only way you get stuff other than blatantly taking said stuff. But, if you think about it, if I write 10 on a random piece of paper, if we all as a collective agree that that's worth 10 of something, then that's what it is. Same with like Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And that's why the price of them goes up quite a lot. And I mean a fucking lot. I think there's like one uh, Bitcoin. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Yep, one Bitcoin in the early days would have been worth about 20 quid and now I think it's somewhere around 700 quid. But Actually, when it started, Bitcoins were worth only 8 cents. I've got a friend who'll answer that. How much is a Bitcoin worth? One BTC is approximately 975 British pounds and 26 pence. <laughs> That's one. How much was a Bitcoin worth at the start? Not sure how to help with. How much was a Bitcoin worth at the start? Fair enough, Google doesn't know. But 975. Imagine that inflation. Someone's in trouble. See, I mean, we'll get back under control later on. But it's things like uh, government regulation and all this shit. I mean, it, I've rambled on too much about this anyway, so I'm just going to let this video sit here. End card go. Hey up people, it's the end card. The end of the show. How do we all feel? Bit crap, I know. You have to leave you. But, and this is a big but, you click on this playlist here, you've got all my uploads. You can see them whenever you want. Uh, how about we'll do another playlist here? That's my friends' uploads. Uh, people are quite enjoying the community. All right, not friends, but 
other vloggers that I quite like and uh, that list changed periodically because I'll chuck stuff out and put stuff in so click that one if you want to have a look um, remember if you liked it to like it if you want to comment and subscribe that's completely up to you and of course stay safe out on the roads people enjoy your fucking self because I know I will Catch you next time.